and we want to make sure that we do things right. And this is extremely important because this is, when it's bringing up respect to our persons, it has to do with your judgment. It has to do with you making judgment calls. It has to do with you determining right and wrong. It's going to impact the way you deal with people, the way you deal with things, the way you deal with events, the, you know, things that happen. We need to have righteous judgment. And let's face it, you know, people say, oh, I thought we're not supposed to judge. You make judgments all the time. Okay, don't get deceived by the, by the, oh, judge not, judge not. You always make a judgment. The people who tell you don't judge are making a judgment and telling you not to judge, right? I mean, that, that inherently is a judgment. Now, I'm not going to get off into the whole, you know, um, teaching in Matthew 7, but there's a lot more to that chapter than just judge not. The Bible says, judge not that you be not judged, for with what judgment you judge, ye shall be judged. It's talking about being a hypocrite in judgment. Okay, and it, that's also an extremely important aspect of making a judgment on things, on morality, on, on what's right and what's wrong, that we are not just pontificating and being hypocrites because no one's going to respect your judgment if you're a hypocrite. No one's going to want to listen to you, right? It's going to ruin your testimony. And similarly, if you're a respecter of persons in your judgment, it's similar to being a hypocrite and no one's going to want to listen to what you have to say if you're just a respecter of persons and you care more about who's the person saying it than what's being said. We need to understand this concept. It is a very important concept, but there's a balance that's going to come with this. And I'm going to get into that in just a little bit. But this is talking about when we make a judgment, it, the Bible is just clearly laying out in the law, Thou shalt not respect the person of the poor, nor honor the person of the mighty. We're talking about mighty. It's talking about someone who's in a position of power, they're wealthy, you know, whatever. So you've got two extremes, someone who's really poor and someone who's mighty. So it doesn't matter. Whether they're poor or not, it doesn't matter at all. In righteousness shalt thou judge thy neighbor. So when there's a, a matter to judge, it doesn't matter what their background is. It doesn't matter how much money they have. That means nothing. It doesn't matter how much clout they have, how much influence they have. If you're going to judge a matter, if someone did something wrong, if there's a transgression, if someone sinned against somebody else, you have to look at the facts. You have to look at what actually happened, and it doesn't matter who the person is. I mean, just because someone may be real powerful and really respected and everything else, if they did wrong, then they ought to be found guilty of whatever, you know, if they're being brought up on charges of some crime, and the facts show that they did what, they, what they're being accused of, then you don't go, oh, but we really like this person, so we're not going to judge against them. No, we need to judge righteously. 